hello and welcome. Uh, we're going to get started uh, right away, and we'll explain things as we go along, and we really appreciate you all being here today. Uh, welcome to Season 1, Episode 1 of the MOOC New Moments webinar series. Uh, in this first episode, we'll be taking a look at a fully baked Mukadu CMS site, premier.mukadu.org, and demonstrating how you can best use the site for testing all of the features of Mukadu CMS. And we'll reserve plenty of time for questions to cover anything that comes up in the episode, and we'll explain how that all works in just a second. So we're planning to be doing webinars and trainings about every two weeks throughout the fall, and the full schedule will be available on premier.mukadu.org. And we'll send out invitations regularly. And again, this is just great. The first one, of course, we were, we were very quick to get out. And we'll make sure you have plenty of notice next time. And if you have topics that you'd like to cover, by all means, please let us know. And we'll do our very best to accommodate. This is definitely a work in progress. So we would love any feedback that you have for us. So let me introduce myself. I'm Michael Ashley, the guy in the middle here, Director of Development for Mukadu CMS. And I have Kelly Shanahan. Hey guys, uh, I am a content specialist, a support agent, and a front end designer for Mukadu support. And we have Tyler on the call as well. Good morning, everyone. So Tyler will be fielding in, in the background as he does and keeping everything running today. All right, well, let's begin by getting the pronunciation out of the way. Let's say it all together. Mukadu. Mukadu, just kind of slur it out there. So Mukadu is the reason we're here today. It's the free and open source solution for indigenous communities to manage and share digital cultural content. And over the last four years, we've worked with great sponsors and have a fantastic development team to help make Mukadu happen. We'd like to give a special shout out today to Canopy Studios, who are leading the current efforts to make Mukadu 2.0 a reality by December of this year. Most of all, we'd like to acknowledge the remarkable people and organizations around the world that are providing active development effort, funding, volunteerism, and general goodwill towards the grassroots project. We'd also like to give a special thanks to all of you who have, uh, the individuals and organizations who have joined the Premier Program. It's been a, an overwhelming um, response to the program and, and we're, we're really excited to see all of the different organizations and individu individuals that are interested in Mukadu. We're really pleased this year to finally be making it um, come into a very real uh, set of software. So here's some housekeeping on how we're going to do this seminar. We are recording these, these and we want to be able to make them reusable. So the idea is that the session is being recorded. So you can see today we're not using video. We, we will do that in, in the future. Um, we are very keen to hear any questions. By all means, don't be shy. You can send them to, if you're a tweet type person, you can send it to Team Coda. And um, or you can use the the chat over here on the right hand side in your uh, go to meeting and we'll take care of that for you. So here's our agenda. We're doing great. We're at the agenda review part of the agenda here where I, and I talk just briefly about formats and outcomes before handing over the reins to Kelly, who's going to take you through a brief tour of uh, of Premiere slash Mukadu CMS 1.5. Then she'll take you quickly through a behind the scenes. We're going to do a fuller version of how to build a site in three days a little later this fall, but how we basically refresh the site in our work process to give you a sense of how that works. And um, then uh, we're going to talk a bit about how you can make the most of your time using Premiere, our recommendations for using it, and, and again, point out some of the limitations we have with Premiere that we can handle through uh, more face-to-face -face meetings, and we'll save plenty of time for questions. So you're probably wondering if you haven't, if you've been using Premiere in the past, a bit about what Premiere is itself. And we called it Premiere as in not like a, you know, the Premiere um, frequent flyer program, but as a, as a notion of the place where we can all come together and work and play and, and get a taste of what Mukadu CMS is really all about. So whether you're just learning about Mukadu today, and a couple of you definitely are, um, or you've been following it for years, and a couple of you definitely are, uh, Premiere.Mukadu is the place for you to try it out for yourselves. And today is really our, our, our re-inauguration. It's our opportunity to reintroduce Premiere to you um, and the world. And the benefits of joining our program are you get access to uh, Premiere.Mukadu.org, which is a fully um, functional version of Mukadu. You can add your own communities and categories and content. 
You, can, you get a really good sense of how to use uh, MUKU CMS, and you can meet with us there on the site um, in real time to get more in-depth training. Uh, in addition, we'll send you a newsletter about once or twice a month, and we're really ramping that up now. We have, we have them scheduled all the way into 2015. It basically, since it was, it was a grant-funded project, and our time is, of course, um, still limited, it gives you eligibility to have your own hosted instance of MUKU CMS. Um, it helps us with our grant, grant, sustainability, grant sustainability, and mostly, it helps to make MUKU do better. So, we really encourage you to to um, to join, and if you joined, we're now saying we're here for you to help you out. <clears throat> the outcomes for today, what we'd like you to walk away with are knowing the capabilities and limitations of, of Premier. Uh, we have to limit the the role, as you'll see, otherwise everyone would be rebu rebuilding the site daily. Um, know how to get the most of your time, as we mentioned, and then where to go from here, how to work with us, how, how, how to go forward, and, and we really want to hear from you about your own projects and how you want to use Mukadu um, for whatever it is you might be doing in the world. So um, with that, we're going to um, go off and have uh, Kelly take us through Premiere. We're we're doing great on time, and but quickly we want to I'm going to open it up to questions. Again, you can you can type your questions in, but I'm going to go ahead and take a risk since we are a small group today, and uh, and also open up the microphone if you have any questions. Give me one second. No questions. No questions. Nope. Okay, cool. Then we're going to roll right away. Thanks. Putting mute back on and handing it over to Kelly. Give me one sec. I'm not where I need to be. Okay. Take it away. All right. Hi, all. Thanks again for coming today. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of uh, what Mukudu Premiere is. Um, so, right here, we're on mukudu.org and Mukudu.org is actually built in Mukudu. So this page that uh, you'll see is very familiar because this is our front page app. The problem was that the experience that people had with Premiere was not the most recent current, recent version of Mukudu.org. So what we had was a uh, very generic, lightly configured version of Mukudu. Um, and for the new site, we brought it to the current. Um, so this is our mukudupremiere.org. This is the new Mukudu Premiere starring you. Um, we've enabled the front page app, which is a responsive app, and it's available for everyone. Um, as you can see, if I hover over buttons, we get this nice highlight. Uh, it's completely resizable all the way down to a phone size. And let's take a look at some of the features. So as I've already mentioned, uh, the buttons on the top pro provide the navigation, and the whole site is responsive. Um, next, we have a carousel with large images that link to the parts of the site. Um, so if you click, you can experience the features of Mukadu. And sorry, this is not full size. There we go. Features of Mukadu, um, or you can attend a webinar. Um, in this first about section. Um, you can tell your friends to join Premiere or you can join yourself if you haven't already. And that'll take you to our sign up for Premiere list. Or you can just come inside. Okay, so as you can see here, oops. Uh, this is the browse page of Premiere, and it's ex exactly the same experiment, experience for every Mukadu CMS instance. Here you can see all of the contents available to you. Um, since we're not logged in, we're seeing all the content that is openly available on the site. Um, we can search or use a community protocol, or, or use a community cultural protocol, a category. Um, or a tag to filter our content, and we have a lot of tags already in this site, so that's exciting. Um, and we'll cover these terms in depth in the next webinar, but feel free to ask any questions and we'll cover them in a little bit. Um, let's select Mukadu Moments to see content linked to that particular community. So, um, I'm not sure why the image is not showing. So here we are. Here we see um, a Mukadu Moments collection, and if I click the community Mukadu Moments, 
I can see all the content linked to this particular community. Um, here we see all of the Mukuru moments added to Premiere so far, and we'll be adding more in the coming months. Um, we've added the collection digital heritage item that will continue to update, linking all the moments together. And from here at the detail level, we can go to the community page, as I have already done for Mukuru moments. Um, we can also get to the community page from the menu by clicking on the communities from the menu button. And here we see all of the open communities of our site and look at them more in depth. Um, so let's return to browse, and I'm going to log in. So by logging in, we get a lot of superpowers we didn't have. Um, we can now see more content. We can comment on digital heritage items, so I can open any digital heritage item um, and add a comment below. Um, and we can add content, we can add uh, communities and cultural protocols and more. Um, you also have access to the My Collection option. So let's try that feature now. Uh, I'm going to go back to Browse and I see some items that I wanna remember for later. So I'm going to select them um, and add them to my collection. I can either select it free or select all items on the page. Um, and we can choose the operation to add to my collection. So adding to my collection is compiling a collection of favorites or uh, digital heritage items that I want to remember. There we go. It says I've selected the following items and I'm just going to confirm that that was what I wanted to do. Um, now on the top bar, we have the My Collection. So you can always go back to your collection and check out the digital heritage items. Um, this is a really important feature so because as you build your site, um, more and more digital heritage items um, start populating. And sometimes it's easier just to refer to some of your favorite or more important digital heritage items. Um, and they will always be there unless you would like to remove them. Um, and we'll remind, and we'll go over these in depth uh, in the next webinar, but feel free to ask any questions later. Um, so the first thing that I would do with my first moments is to add a, a community and start adding digital heritage items. Um, I'm going to go through that later, um, but first I'm going to take you behind the scenes of Mukadu CMS, or of the Premiere build. All right, let's move on. So we've gone through a tour of the site, and um, let's show you a little bit more about the building of the site. Um, so with every project that we take on, even projects that we are in charge of and technically we are the clients for, um, we start with a data audition. And so with a data audition, um, usually I'm interviewing the client to see what the goals are, how much content that do they have, what state is that content in, how much time is how much time do we have to build the site, and what is our budget for that. Um, and I don't have to be the one to be doing the data audition, but these are some questions that you want to ask yourself um, when you're building your own Mukadu site. Um, so the answer was our goal was to update Mukadu Premiere and refine the content uh, to enable a, front, a responsive front page app, which highlights the main features of Mukadu, and to transfer all of the content or our selected content from the old site to the new site. So we had three days. We had 258 users, and we had a total of 162 digital heritage items, of which I selected 108. Um, so after we get um, some of our goals and our outcomes defined in the data audition, um, then we move on to designing and configuring what exactly is our, going, is our site going to look like. 
So that for me, that's the really fun part. Um, I got to design what the final outcome would be. Um, I translated uh, Michael, in this case, was our client. Um, so I translated Michael's wishes and goals to a comprehensive design and verbiage that um, would really present the site well to our, um, our premier users. Um, so I created this mood board, which outlines, uh, oops, let's go back, outlines some of the color palettes that we wanted to use, um, the fonts we wanted to use, um, uh, what the front page uh, carousel slider was going to look like. Um, and then we we created a content list um, for all of the verbiage that you see on the page. Um, now to implement all of the new content, uh, we created a, uh, a launch plan to import all of the content, um, to outline what communications we would have with our end users for the site. and um, write down exactly what every single step in the process was to launch the site. Um, and then we scheduled it, assigned it, and checked it off as it got done. Um, and so those are the three main steps that we do for every site that we have. Um, like I said, we planned and technically implemented this site in a total of three days. And um, it was a really fun experience, and it really proved that um, we can make great sites and it doesn't really, it's not that difficult with Mugudu CMS. Um, so now I'm gonna tell, take you through making the most of your first moments. Um, before I dive into this, again, I wanted to open this up to any questions or comments that people might have. Yeah, if you have any questions so far, um, by all means, you can, um, you can just shout them out. You can also, um, there's a little hand raising option and then uh, placing questions in the, chat. Any of those are fully fine. But we, we're going to, as you can see, we, we've uh, tried to truncate the, the show so we can have uh, time for more interactive work at the end. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, Actually, it's Tiana speaking. Hi. Tiana? Hi. I just, um, I, I'm really new to uh, this. I'm really just exploring how I might be able to use Mukuchu, and I guess something isn't clear to me. When you talk about the kind of work that you've just done for that website, that's something that that we would be able to do ourselves. Is that right? Is that yes, absolutely. Is that what yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can you can definitely you can definitely do it yourself uh, selves. And the the real impetus for us doing this ses these sessions is, um, you know, we've just gathered like a you know a rolling stone. We've gathered a whole lot of learning, and we really want to get that shared out because. This stuff's not easy. I, I, it's been a the analogy I just heard yesterday was working with Mukadu is like learning a language, and the, to become really fluent at it just takes a lot of work, and we want to kind of speed up and accelerate that learning process. Okay, thank you. This is um, Richard. I had a question. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so my question is like the like the example that you used about um, that launch plan and you know, those um, kind of like um, charts that you use, are you going to make those available to us? Um, definitely. So we, the mood board is kind of a unique um, unique build for every project. Um, and so is the content list. But we definitely have um, some templates that I'm happy to share with you, Richard, to kind of um, get your vision, get the vision out of um, someone's mind and, on, and onto paper. Um, so the tr transition from mine to an actual usable site is um, it's a lot smoother. And um, so our content list we have available as a template and our launch plan, we're happy to go through you for your Mugudu CMS site um, to taking it all the way to live. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. We have a, a planned webinar where we, we want to just go through a, a site from beginning to end, stem, stem to stern. Um, coming up in a, in a couple of weeks. Anything else for the moment? OK, we'll be uh, we'll mute, mute one more time, and we'll, uh, we'll just we're gonna wrap this up really quick. So give us a sec. OK, um, 
so without going into too much detail, I'm going to show you, um, because next week we're going to go more into detail of using the site. Um, I just wanted to share a little bit with making the most of your first moments with um, Mukudu CMS and as a premier user. Um, so for a lot of people, um, their first moment is when they get this email in their inbox um, from Mukudu Premier saying an administrator has created an account for you. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is find this email. Sometimes it goes to spam um, just because of uh, Google's pre-configured spam filters. Um, so when you find this email, all you have to do is click on the link. Okay. Um, and it takes you straight to the Premiere site and gives you a one-time login uh, for Premiere. So we're going to click Log In. And this takes us to our personal profile page. Um, so from this page, you can edit your email address. Um, you can add a password. Um, that's a very important thing because you will not have a password until you add a password. So I'm going to add a password for myself that I will remember. Okay. Um, if there's any open communities to join, we can open a, uh, we can add ourselves to that community. Let's, let's take a moment there. So, I mean, this is the, the adding to communities part is something that we, we also, even now it's become so, such a part of our fluency that we, we should remind, remind all of us that this is actually one of the core features of Mukadu. Mm -hmm. So if you can see a community here, you can join it. It's like subscribing to, you know, any any group of interest you might be interested in, in cooking and this could be like the different kinds of food that you might want to join so if, if within your own mukudu instance um you have communities that have been marked as open um or that have been made available to you by the admin you'll see them here um so what we can we'll talk more about that uh, a little bit later but just mm -hmm. wanted to take a moment to show you um, I'm going to choose to upload a file now um, for my image. So every time I comment on someone's digital heritage item, um, I want there to be an image of myself because. So we're going to add an image here and then change my time zone. And there's a number of different time zones that we could be in. Um, America, Los Angeles is one of them. Here we go. And a final word verification to make sure, again, that you are not a robot. Yeah, I would say that one. Okay. Cancel. All right. So now the changes have been saved. Um, if at any time in the future you will want to go back and change some of these settings, um, you can always go to this top black bar up here and click on your name. And this will take you to your um, profile view and you can press edit. And by pressing edit, we can get back to that page at any time. Okay, so now that I'm within Mukudu, I can start adding digital heritage items right away. But the first thing I'm going to do is actually add a community um, because um, Adding a community enables me to create a group of users and digital heritage content um, that can be pulled together um, into a cohesive group. Um, so my community name is going to be um, Kelly's Family. Okay, and every community and cultural protocol has what is called a sharing protocol. And you have three options for this. It can be open, community, or strict community. By setting it as open, any user can see my um, my items. So I'm going to set this as community so that my, sh my items are only shared within um, those who I, I add to my family group. And we can select media by choosing a file. And I have a tree for my family tree um, set up. And we can press submit. and save. So while we're waiting for the interwebs, um, the, the, basically the, what we found and what folks who are using uh, Mukudu much more fully have found is 
that the more content you add, the more media rich you make it, the better the experience is for everyone, which is really kind mm -hmm. of the core point of this. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Thank you. Um, now, if I want to add people to my community, because right now my community is myself only, um, I can invite my friends again to go to premiere.com, my friends and family to go pr to premiere.mukadu.org and um, press that join premier button on the front page. And then once they have, I can add them to my group. So to add users to your group, you go to the group button and it makes it very easy to add people. And I can start typing in a username and add them like that. And it's as simple as that. I have enabled um, the user Kelly Shanahan to see Kelly's family. Um, and we have a running list um, down the right hand side or left hand side of this page. Now let's add a digital heritage item. So a digital heritage item is a single node of content. Um, whenever we go to the browse page or the communities page, we can see all of the digital heritage items that are within the site. Um, so I'm going to give this content a title and uh, an image to represent it. And a description. This is my Abby. Um, now, more than a description, um, we also have a couple fields, traditional knowledge and cultural narrative. Traditional knowledge is um, to provide any traditional knowledge about the piece of content. So if there's any um, media specific descriptive knowledge, this would be um, the traditional background for it. Um, and you can add any traditional knowledge as you see fit. And then there's a cultural narrative, which provides a context for that piece. So I might want to describe that we use the term Abby um, for my grandmother because she was a very young mom and she decided that she didn't want to be called grandma at the age of 40 something. <laughs> um, so she decided to go by Abby, which is short for Abuela. Um, so I could write that narrative within the cultural narrative piece. And some required fields are the Mukadu core field. So I can set it to my community, Kelly's family, and a cultural protocol. Um, I'll set it to webinar series. Um, Premier.mukadu.org has set up a number of categories that we feel um, encompass um, encompass all of the content that people might want to categorize their items under. However, if you have another category that you seem is more fit, you feel is more fitting for your items, please feel free to add a category. And you can do that at any time by going to the add category button at the top of the page. Um, but remember to save your changes if you're in the middle of submitting a form like we are now. Um, so I'm just going to add it as photography and um, give it a date of 1958. OK. Whoops. And there's a number of rights and licensing options. I'm just going to say all rights reserved. Um, and that'll give it uh, the rights to the webinar and the rights to, oh, sorry, I keep going away. Thank you. <laughs> So we'll save this item. All right, and we've created our own digital heritage item. Um, now I can get to this digital heritage item from the Browse Archive screen. We see it shows up right here. Um, but if you recall, we put it within our community, Kelly's family, um, which means that it's only shared within the group of Kelly's family. So now if I log out, and re-enter the site, you'll notice that the item is gone. Um, so communities and protocols make it easier for you to control access or, or share your items within specific groups of users um, that you've added. Um, and I think that goes through some of the basic functions of the site. Um, let's go back to our keynote now. 
All right, any questions again? We're gonna open it back up to questions. Hi, it's Deanna. Hey, um, Deanna. What's, the, what's the difference between community and strict community? Um, that's when a really good question. Um, the difference between uh, community and strict community actually happens um, when you have um, communities that intersect on a cultural heritage item. Um, so uh, when you create a strict community, it enables content to only be shared within the specific group that you mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. And similarly, when you um, the same applies when you select community. However, um, when I have the sharing protocol of community on a digital heritage item, if I add any other protocols that are open or, um, or community only, it will also allow the digital heritage item to be shared with those other communities. Okay. Um, now, if I have a strict community, um, it will not allow that digital heritage item to be shared with those other communities. So it's kind of the strict community is a trump card saying, yes, um, I want this, the, these items to only be shared within the group, but I really, 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 really don't want them to be shared with other groups. <laughs> so even if you add other cultural protocols and um, communities to the item, it won't open the sharing up once you select that strict community. Okay. Does that Thank you. make some sense? It's, it's more exclusive than inclusive. Great. So um, we're at the we're at the point in the uh, we basically went through all the content we wanted to really talk about. Now we have an opportunity. I know we have um, some old timers who have been following Mukadis since its very beginning and birth, all the way through to the now. So we're, we would really like to hear anything you have. Um, otherwise, we'll ramble on and add some more stuff. I have a whole raft of questions, plus uh, to to add to the mix and also some some uh, information to give you all about our current engineering and the pretty exciting future for Mukadu. So um, other things from the from the audience here? This is Richard. Um, so on the site that you like this latest version, I guess it's 1.5. Is that something that recently is that recent, and is it was it applied to all the instances out there or not? Uh, also, a really great question. So, um, the if you take a look, if we go to Mukadu, um, we have um, a let's see where it is. Um, the various releases, as you can see, are, or the current release is actually quite. Old, if you if you will, um, we we are releasing what we call uh, version um, 1.5 to um, to any uh, site such as such as Richard's that that is um, trying to actually go live, and um, but we're not pushing it out completely to everyone because um, a whole lot be, when we started Mukadu back in 2011. Um, using Drupal as the backbone technology, just so much has changed since then. So we're, and we're going through this massive new engineering um, push um, currently. So the idea is we, we're doing it fairly selectively so that things don't break. And what we didn't really talk about, although we mentioned it in the newsletter, was yes, it took us three days to, uh, to do the site work, but a lot of things did, you know, had to be uh, tuned to, to work perfectly um, uh, for Premiere to work as well as it is. So we, we take on the, the pushing of 1.5 very seriously and we do it on a case-by-case -case basis. Other, any, any other questions currently? Um, okay, then well, um, and again, you can feel free to just put them here in the chat. And I got Tyler is basically adding as you add questions. Um, since we're all we're still figuring out the audio and making that trying to get that all perfect. 
we're adding um, the questions in here so that we'll have it as part of the record. Um, so a couple of things we'd like to mention is we are currently in a, uh, an, a, a very um, major engineering sprint that's sponsored from, by the Institute of Museum Libraries and Services to bring MOOCADU to 2.0 with a target date of uh, December and a general release of, in uh, early 2015. And when we get there, we'll have the software a, a, a true open source um, release. It'll be available, um, sorry, um, geek speak, it will be available for download in GitHub. And still the best way to get it will be um, through our hosted solution that we, that we help to operate and run back to kind of Deanna's question so that we can still be there to help you um, make the most of it and make the experience of getting up and running as easy as possible. So we're really excited about this. Um, some of the questions that already came up around protocols, um, we've, we've been learning a lot over the years about, you know, um, how that all really should be and, and what communities are really asking. Um, so we're really trying to reduce the complexity. We have a great, that's why we're really excited about working with Canopy. They have a whole user experience team that's helping us to understand this. When I say us, let me be clear, it's not just you know Tyler, Kelly, and Michael in the room. It's it's you know uh, the various uh, MOOCA doers around the world that have been that are working with us currently or have specific requests. Um, so what we would like um, as we move forward over the next weeks is any feedback, um, any kind of ideas um, that that people have. Um, and we're going to do our very best to publicly um, put out the, the roadmap of what's going to be happening. The principal desire around, the, uh, around this engineering push is just to make the software as, as rock solid as it, as it possibly can be. But there are some really neat uh, new bells and whistles that will be coming down the line, which we're, we're happy to talk about too. Um, so basically, um, uh, our plan over the next weeks is to, um, come up with, we've, we've come up with a nice roadmap for these different, um, episodes and we're, these are also being interlaced with a whole different series of trainings we're doing, uh, which we're putting at support.mukadu.org, uh, little Mukadu moments on, all right, well, what is a cultural protocol? And okay, well, how can you do batch upload and all of those types of trainings as well? But basically, um, we're here now. Um, then next, or the next one we do is we're going to take a, a walkthrough of the site in depth. And it's going to be much more of an interactive experience uh, where we'll be walking through particular uh, content. And um, the GoTo training is fantastic because we can actually hand over a uh, keyboard um, access to any of you and you can be driving or we can actually take over your mouse and keyboard and help you get through something to get stuck. So that'll be coming up in two weeks. Then we have Kim Kristen, um, for instance, the progenitor of, the, of, of, of uh, Mukadu and Alex Merrill from Washington State who will be down here in California to, uh, to work on um, the Sustainable Heritage Network project we're working on plus feeding into the engineering. So they'll be here live in our little uh, Coda Studio here, which would be really great. And for that one, we will for sure uh, be turning on video and, and all that kind of fun, more embarrassing things. Uh, then we have Elena Tofalori coming in from Italy. Uh, she's been the project manager and, and lead um, pusher <laughs> of all the engineers uh, working on Mukadu Mobile, which is an NEH funded project. Uh, that will be happening um, in the beginning of October. Then we'll be having uh, the Canopy team come in uh, to talk through what's happening with the MUCA engineering update, followed by the Com Kalamuna, it's actually Kalamuna, apologize for that, I'll get that right. Uh, Kalamuna uh, folks coming in, uh, uh, tied in with the Bad Camp uh, Drupal conference we're having in San Francisco. Then uh, our plan is um, hopefully we'll, we'll have a site where we'll take through cooking show style building out an entire site from beginning to end, from nothing all the way to done in an hour. And again, that will be a bit of a cooking show style, but we'll show how that's all, all done. Um, if you have a site you're interested in working on, you should let us know now and we'll, um, we'll take a look at doing your site. 
then the hopefully the uh, early release debut of Mookie to 2.0, and then we'll take a, basically a year review and a preview of what's to come, and that will wrap out our first our first year season. So it's an ambitious uh, calendar, but we believe we really can you know get this done, and we're excited to try. So how does it all sound? If there's any, if you have additional topics or particular things that you're interested in doing. Um, there isn't anything stopping us from recording other sessions. We can do, you know, uh, other types of sessions and record those because we're really trying to help out everybody. If we do take, you know, th this session alone took us, you know, probably 20 hours to put together in terms of time. So if we do it, if we do a session with you, we're happy to do that. But what we're going to do is, uh, we're, we'll really ask it so that we can record it and get it out to the community so that everyone can learn from what we do together. Um, Okay, so anything else from anyone? Uh, yeah, um, this is Donovan speaking, and uh, I noticed that, uh, hello, um, I noticed that uh, the episodes, uh, most of them, are going to be on a Wednesday. Um, is there, you said that these will be recorded, and will I be able to uh, access them uh, on the uh, Makuda website, or...? Absolutely, and um, we're, you know, uh, if Wednesday isn't a good day for you, I mean, we're, that's why we're saying work in progress. Anyone who is here, you guys get the first vote. We already take this thing to be much more of a, of a rugby kind of metaphor. <laughs> so if you think a better, if there's another day that's better, we'll, we'll target that. We will also be looking at doing um, some of these not at 10 o'clock in the morning, but also towards the evening for our New Zealand and Australian friends. Um, but uh, all of the episodes will be in premiere which will be a great little, you know, spiritual circle of goodness. Uh, they'll also be available on our YouTube and Vimeo channels. Of course, the okay. thing is that there'll be the recordings, and what's nice about doing these things is that they're also live. Um, and so, you know, you can actually ask questions, which is great. Right. Thank you. Pleasure. Um I think that's about it. Yeah, sounds... Guys, I, I just wanted to say one more time, uh, thank you for showing up. Uh, it's been a really fun journey um, getting to know Mugadu and the software and having the opportunity to share it with you guys. This is Kelly speaking, by the way, with a heartfelt moment. Um, <laughs> It's, it's been a really fun journey, and I hope to be able to share that with everyone in the upcoming months, and um, especially when we roll out the new version of the software this January. Yeah, we, we, we're, all, we're all feeling the same, and we're all feeling the love. And um, one thing we certainly, and this, this is our kind of inauguration of doing these webinars, which I think, you, give, given how you are too, they're, they're a little scary. Um, but we actually have a whole raft of questions that have been asked over um, over the years and months. And we're going to make sure to do an FAQ section on those and get them going. Um, we also want to point out that uh, we I'll leave you by showing something really great, which is if you go to support.mukadu.org, uh, we're working our tails off to make this thing really fantastic in the sense that you can actually, if you have questions, you can just type them in, and it magically, semantically figures out um, some some options for quote answers, or at least things that lead you in 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 a hopefully right direction. But if you're looking in here and you're not finding what what is interesting to you, please take a moment to post a public question, or drop us an email, or give us a call, and we're gonna we're gonna do our best to continue to make um, this site um, as rich as we possibly can. Um, to make the most of the experience. And the same thing goes with Premiere. Please don't be shy to put content up. Um, mm -hmm. You can't break it, this is the old site, but um, you can just come in here and by all means, um, feel free to add content um, to your heart's desire. If the site gets really wooly, you know, and, and, and uh, looks like it needs a shave, then we will go in and start to curate and, and manage the content. But that's the whole point is just to, to go in and, and give it a try. So by all means, don't be shy to do that. I actually wanted to also bring up um, Richard. I remember from your email you had a question about collections. Um, and currently, there's no structure um, set up 
in Mukadu to manage collections. Um, but what I like to do is uh, create a digital heritage item that I actually label as collection um, and then curate the related items to this digital heritage item. Um, so these are also uh, freestanding digital heritage items, but um, I've collected them within one screen um, for the purposes of having a collection. So, okay. Yeah, and we're happy. And that's, that's part of our plan for the next um, se session is to go into um, all of those little bits and bobs in, in greater detail. Well, I think with that, we're going to wrap it up. And uh, as we said, we will uh, be posting this um, this webinar on premiermukadu.org. It'll be tagged with webinars, the webinar series. Um, so you'll be, I'll, it, you'll be able to find them that way, um, as well as sending out a, a reminder note to, to the Premier list um, uh, about the additional webinars coming down the pipe. And with that, we'd just like to thank you again. And uh, don't be shy with questions or thoughts. We're here for you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.